see this gate question 2004 cs student is given with name sex marks so name is the primary key that means every student should have a different name now at least we have one boy and one girl in the table so what is the output of this query they have given a very lengthy query right so how to find out the output always my suggestion divide that into multiple pieces and apply divide and conquer method that means divide the problem and solve so if you see this problem i can see two things so this is entire thing is one unit i can imagine second one this entire thing right so let's first understand this easy part what is this one from the student table select sex equal to female that means only female students are selected and after that name is projected that means female students names are printed so let's remember it so this is one so one is nothing but collection of names which are especially female students like rani vani something okay so this kind of thing remember it imagination important now come to this part see that this remaining part so here pi name of student natural join another table again another table is student but what is this n comma x comma m and what is this symbol we know that it is renaming symbol but generally our renaming is different right but in the exam if they give some different renaming which you don't know try to i mean understand it student table new table name is not mentioned but n comma x comma m what what does it mean we have name and sex and marks you should understand that oh, columns might be renamed correct so i assume that let's say name is renamed to n sex is renamed to x marks is renamed to m that's why the i mean the first letters are so matching n name x first is sounding like sex right so m for marks that's why so definitely n comma x comma m are the renaming i mean so columns which are renamed now after that student table contains three columns n comma x comma m one student table another student table has naturally name sex marks when you apply this conditional join what happens we'll see sex equal to female and x equal to male marks less than or equal to m so what is the output of conditional join all the columns will be printed right so that's why i'm showing here a random tuple in conditional join of the student versus student will look like this name sex marks n x m now what is my suggestion is if you want to know the output of this sub query then what you do is try to fill the value such a way that all the conditions are satisfied then we can understand the pattern inside so sex equal to female so make here sex equal to female okay yes female then x equal to male there is a field x go and write male fine after that marks less than or equal to m let's take this marks as 20 and m as something so that 20 should be less than or equal to that m let's take 30 right now what about other things anything is mentioned nothing so now in this situation so we are printing name so we are going to print name right females name so name sex sex is female here that's why i can understand it like something rani so rani is going to be printed if this pattern is satisfied that means all these conditions are satisfied when all the conditions are satisfied so rani is going to be a female and her marks so because of this condition all every time when this kind of tuples are selected the marks of the to, to be printed name are definitely see whether there is one boy definitely and his marks are greater than or equal to this female marks that means to be printed female person's marks are definitely smaller than or equal to at this moment just see one boy's marks correct but don't say that you know sir rani's marks are less than or equal to all the boys no it is not guaranteed because only one tuple combination you are observing with one tuple i can say that only one instance is there who is boy whose marks are greater than or equal to this female which is to be printed now finally i understand that this is collection of names whose marks are at least one time that means in whose marks are smaller than at least one boy right let's write it so finally here collection of names i'm writing names female correct so female names whose marks are smaller than some boy are equal so i mean you can understand that right because we know the logic some boy that's it now we'll come to the total query this is all the female right and one more thing name is representing a uh, uniquely person right 
that's why now i can say whenever i see name it's like female so here we have collection of female students right this one this is collection of female students whose marks are smaller than at least one boy now if i remove such girls what happens because we are applying minus operation between them think about it so what would be the result in the result definitely the answer will be the female students who are not here and what is the property of the people who are here they are definitely their marks are definitely smaller than some boy and if this if i remove that easily we can understand that remaining people will not be like this who are they their marks are smaller than some boy then the remaining people are not like that means what always their marks are greater than every boy correct if their marks are smaller than some boy they will be here and we don't take them we know the meaning of minus correct so that's why the remaining people definitely will be the people like rani maybe vani but their property should be their marks should not be smaller than any boy then only they will be escaped in this minus operation so finally output is all the female students whose marks are greater than definitely every time greater than every boy correct so that is the output easily we can understand for that always my suggestion is divide the problem into sub parts so that you can understand them easily that's it will's one more question so student info is a table and enroll is a table student info contains student ids name and sex we have female students and male students and in enroll we have student id along with course id so what we have to do is here we have to find out the output of this query we'll see this query in a systematic way that means we try to understand the blocks in this so let me understand if some piece of independent code this one you see what is this in enroll we are taking course id that means so enroll only represents courses right that means i can say all the collection of course id so enroll contains all the course id for imagination i assume that i have courses c c++ java so finally this part let me denote it by something c okay so this c table contains all that courses now what is this part you see this is some independent part this part is let's say b so what is this one b cross c what is b b is nothing but from student info female students are fetched and only that their ids are fetched then that is nothing but female student ids so b can be represented as female student ids correct so example that female student ids are 1 2 3 so i am assuming that my table contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 which table student table so 4 5 6 are boys uh, that means male and 1 2 3 are girls female so now you are doing here cartesian product between them that means only female students are cartesian producted with every course then you get like this 1c 1c++ 1 java similarly 2c 2c++ 2 java so on correct my question is can you say that one uh, one taken c++ no we can't say because it is not a valid entry right it's all possible combinations but where is the actual entries where a student reserved uh, or a student has taken a course or not in enroll right now so this enroll contains all the valid information so this b cross c is nothing but all the all the combinations of female send any course right now if i subtract this is now all the combinations minus especially see here only female student combinations minus enroll enroll of all the values that means all the valid combinations example 1c maybe 2 has taken java let's say student called raju who is id is 4 might have taken c++ so on now the question is you never get boys information in the output if you do this minus operation why enroll contains though though enroll contains uh, this boys but left side only we have female information when you do a minus b then so only we get information on that a correct we never get information of this side that is the property of minus operation all the elements at left but not in b is the definition of minus so all the elements at left are only female so all the female students information minus all the in valid information now what i want to say is so what is the output once this entire thing is done what finally it is uh, is done b cross c is done 
minus enroll is done. Let me take enroll as a table A. So B cross C minus A on that course IDs are projected. When you project course IDs, what happens? We will see which courses will be present. Let's say some course is present finally. I am writing the output. This is your output. In that some course ID Java is present. Then I ask one question. Why it is present in this result after subtraction? After subtraction something is present means. So definitely with that Java along with Java there is some core. I mean some student in B cross C correct. And which is not here. That means what if it is here what happens example one Java. If it is available in both sides here and here. That would be subtracted, correct? So I can say that there is one entry, Java entry, at left side. That means what is left side? Female reservations. That means Java is taken by some female student. But actually, that is not a valid combination. If it is valid combination, it got subtracted, right? So definitely there should be a female, and she should not take Java. Then only it will be left side, but not right side. Now at that time Java will be printed. That's it. So simple. Sir, could you elaborate it? If there is a course which is taken by all the female students, what happens? We will see. Let me show that. I am only focusing on now a particular course. Let's say C. C is very popular, right? Generally everyone study that. So assume that let's say all the female students are taking that course. Then this will be data in enrolled. Agree? Now you are doing minus from I mean this minus this this is nothing but all female students versus enroll right course it is so female students are one two three now I am only focusing on combinations of C since when you are it's a Cartesian product you get all the entries like one C two C three C now these are all entries of female versus course C these are all entries which are valid entries because course C is taken by all the female Sir, if some boys also take, please write that also. Yeah, no problem. But if you do removal operation, so 1C will be gone because 1C is a one of the combination, any combination, but 1C is valid combination. So now 2C will be gone because it is valid and any combination. 3C will be gone because it is valid. In that way, every combination will be gone. Still, if you want to have C in the output, that should be here like this, something like 4C. But 4 is a boy, correct? So impossible. How to have it? There should be definitely either 1C or 2C or 3C which should be missing here. Example 3C is missing here. Then this 3C will be in the output and when you print the course C will be printed. For that necessary condition such course should not be associated with every girl. That means at least one girl should not reserve it. That then all it will be printed in the output. Finally which courses will be printed in the output? A course which is not taken by all the girls. So you see option B. Courses in which only a proper subset of female students are enrolled. If total full set is taken, let's say any course that will be disappeared from the output. That's why proper subset means at least one student should miss that course. That's it. So option B is the correct answer. Okay.